basketball is back. Live inside Gampa Pavilion, it's UConn and Southern in an exhibition to begin the new college basketball season. With Meg Como, I'm Randy Brochu, and Meg, this one may not count, but there is a lot of excitement and interest for this UConn team that's had a couple of trying years. They're mostly healthy after a couple of tough years vying for that 12th national championship. The number two team in the nation looking to get back to the top. Yeah, saying it's been a couple trying years is very safe and understated. It's been unbelievable the injuries that this team has endured, but they're mostly healthy, as you said, and to have Paige Becker's back is probably the most anticipated return of a player that we have seen, God knows, in the last 30 years, it's the most anticipation I've ever seen. The best player in the country her freshman year, injuries riddled her sophomore year, missed her entire junior year. She's back. She's back better than ever, stronger than ever. 16 pounds of muscle she has added to her frame. She is a great playmaker. She's an unbelievable scorer. She's a tremendous leader. But what I'm excited to see is the, the energy and the passion that she plays with. She really appreciates being back playing this game, and I think the fans are really going to notice it. Of course, last year, injuries to Ice Brady, who also returns this year, AZ Fudd and Caroline Ducharme. But leading the way during that tough year, Nika Mule really emerged as the leader of this team and set a program record for assists. She had a wonderful year last year and joins those injured players healthy this year to begin a new season. Tip-off and starting lineups are next from Gample. Well, a great moment here at Campbell as they introduce the starting lineups for the visitors, of course, the Southern Connecticut State Owls and for the Yukon Huskies. And a terrific moment here as we take a look at the starters for Southern. Hope Fox, Jill Martin, Ashley Evans, Katie Williamson, and Juliana Bonilla. The Yukon Huskies introduced and last to be introduced back on the floor for the first time in 580 days, Paige Beckers for the Yukon Huskies along with Nika Mule, 
Caroline Ducharme and AZ Flood, both of whom battled injuries on and off last year. And Aaliyah Edwards, who was the leading returning scorer at 16 and a half points a game and also had a terrific year last year. Here we go, Meg. And the best was Chris Daly just looked at Paige Beckers and said, tuck your shirt in. <laughs> Some things never change. Well, a little out of practice, but she is back. Let's take a look at the keys for UConn today and all season. I mean, think about it. Allow me to reintroduce myself. This is a completely new group out there. You know, so many players injured last year. They're all back. It's going to take a little while to get them reacclimated, and then let's see how their offensive continuity is with everyone back playing together. And for visiting Southern, getting ready for their Division II season in the NE10. Well, and the key is, as their coach, Kate Lynch, told us before the game, it's the game within the game. You know, getting a defensive rebound, that's a win for them. Those four-minute segments, you know, between the TV timeouts, those are the, the areas that they'll focus on. To get a tip on the defensive end, that's a, a point for them. So that's what the, the stuff that they're going to focus on today. Well, Gamble is rocking, and it's an exhibition. It doesn't count, but again, so much excitement and interest with Paige Beckers returning to the floor. The last time we saw her, of course, the national championship game against South Carolina two seasons ago. The Huskies looking to return to greatness after their string of 14 consecutive years going to the Final Four ended last year, but a new season begins with this exhibition. And Aaliyah Edwards winning the opening tip. Caroline Duchard to AZ Fudd for the jump shot from the elbow. And the rebound for Southern off the miss by Katie Williamson, one of their captains. And Kate Lynch has to be so, so pleased with her team's performance, limiting UConn to one shot and dragging down that rebound. Juliana Bonilla, the transfer from Maris, knocks down the three. And then how about the three on the other end? Great start by Southern. Fudd to Beckers. AZ in the corner. Answers. Really good pass there from Nika Mule. A quick release to get it to the open Fudd. Jill Martin travels in the backcourt out of Orange here in Connecticut. A star at Amity High School and a captain. And those are the turnovers that Southern cannot afford to make. But that's what UConn's pressure wants to do, to force them to play a little bit faster than they want and create those turnovers. Caroline Ducharme inbounding the ball. Of course, averaged just under 10 points a game as a rookie, but battled injuries last year. Here's Paige Beckers taking her first shot and short on the three. And just remember, as she's been out for a long time. It's going to take Beckers a little while to get back into game shape. She didn't play in that the team's trip to Europe this summer. This is her first game in a year and a half. From the wing, Williamson goes back iron. Edwards the rebound. She averaged nine boards a game last season. As the Big East most improved player. And what there's easy fun underneath. Incredible cut there by Fudd and a terrific find by Beckers. That's just two young ladies that have played a lot of basketball together. The Beckers to Fudd connection, a beautiful sight for UConn fans. Paige going up for a rebound and she gets fouled. You know, she's got that left thumb taped. Yes, she was fouled on that play, but you could see as she tried, the shot was contested by Ducharme. She goes to get it. Yes, she got fouled, but hard to get it because that thumb is an integral part of, of being able to, to do things with that left hand. Hard to, to get a handle on the ball. Evans commits the foul. The first team foul for Southern. That got deflected defensively out of play by Jill Martin. Nice job by Martin having that left hand in the passing lane to deflect that pass. Edwards going to show off some range. Too strong, but Ducharme crashes the offensive glass and a tie-up. Ducharme is just relentless. The way she moves without the ball and crashes the boards. She's wily in there. She finds a way to always get her hands on the ball. Limited to 23 games last year. Number five ranked recruit coming out of Milton, Massachusetts two years ago. Defense, 
An early lead for UConn, 5-3. But again, the score and the stats kind of secondary to just familiarizing themselves with each other, reintroducing, reacclimating. Here's Nika Mule. She thought about it. The dish inside. Instead, to Edwards with a drop step and power move to the rack. Nice strong move by Edwards, showing her physical dominance in that lane. Great poise, great patience. 7-13 to go in the first quarter. And that ball deflected out of bounds. And they call a foul on Nika Mule, her first personal, and UConn's first team foul. Martin inbounding, and Fox wedges it. Possession to UConn. But no problem. Leah Edwards just jumped up <laughs> and, and, uh, and dislodged the ball. I remember a time <laughs> where we needed to get a stick and knock the, like get a broom handle, get that ball down. They didn't just have you jump up and... <laughs> well, I could step on someone's loose. back, maybe I could. <laughs> The ball movement here. One more pass. Beckers to Mule. And Mika knocks down a three. Beckers could have taken that shot. She was open, unselfishly dished it. It's important for Mule to be able to knock down open shots this year. Of course, Beckers, a great scorer, 18 points a game in her career, but also a great passer. More than five assists a game through her career. Martin short on the three. Fod looking to push up to Nika. And she tried to bounce it to a cutting Ducharme. Kicked out of bounds by Southern. UConn showing off the fast break that time. I think the, the up-tempo game is going to suit them well based on how deep they are in their backcourt. Beckers drives, scoops, scores! And the foul. And she lets him know she's back. And she'll talk to the student section. She'll talk to the fans. This is a kid who is thrilled to be back playing the game of basketball. Now 12-3 UConn with 6.17 to go in the first. The explosive drive through the lane for Paige Beckers and a trip to the line for a three-point play. Fouls on Bonilla, second team foul on Southern. Offensive rebound by Edwards off the miss from Beckers at the free throw line. And then Ducharme nearly lost it. Nika Mule goes down hard. Grabs at the ankle. Hobbled. She gets the ball now. And she takes a three. How nope. about her hurt? And then she'll still take the shot. Edwards cleans it up. The offensive rebound and two more for Aaliyah Edwards. Just great position and anticipation there by Edwards. 5.45 to go in the first, 14 to three. UConn leads here in the first. That's Mackenzie Helms out of East Haven off the bench, a transfer from Quinnipiac. Passing to Reza Milner, and it's stolen by Ducharme. She takes her coast to coast for the lay-in, Southern. Is going to call a timeout. Kate Lynch, their head coach in her ninth season. Using her first timeout. 16-3. UConn leads it. 5.24 to go in the first. Caroline Ducharme turning defense and offense in a hurry. So Kate Lynch on the sideline for her ninth year at Southern. You know, Gino Oriema is not the only Hall of Famer on the sideline today. Kate Lynch was a terrific player at Southern, part of their Hall of Fame, a two-time All-American, their all-time leading scorer with almost 1,800 points. And she's also a member of the Connecticut Women's Basketball Hall of Fame, the NE10 Hall of Fame, and the New England Basketball Hall of Fame. And she also won a national championship as a player back in 2007. A tremendous pedigree. This woman certainly could play, and she's a heck of a coach as well. Talking with her, you know, when a great player becomes a great coach, 
it does allow them maybe a little bit to put themselves in their top players' perspective and be able to communicate and translate and make them understand they know what they're going through with those pressures. And it's interesting, a lot of great coaches that we have seen over the years, let's use Gino as an example, he wasn't a very good player himself, but he's an outstanding coach. And, and I think Kate Lynch is, is, she's a little bit different where she was not only an outstanding player, but now she has become a really terrific coach. And, and Southern's, you know, lucky to have her. She, as she told us, she thinks it's the best school around. And, I, and that's how you have to feel. Yes, it's her alma mater, but she believes in the program. She has a tremendous culture. She gets great kids and they play together. And she really is the perfect coach in the way she approaches the game, the way she appreciates her institution. And any parent would be, would be thrilled to send their kid to play for her. And interestingly, she told us she grew up in Rhode Island, but of course, like so many, a UConn women's <laughs> basketball <laughs> fan, but a, private, a Providence men's basketball fan, because that's where her dad went. <laughs> it's all right. 16-3, UConn leads, 5.24 to play in the first. Yes. After the time out there by Kate Lynch. So they're talking about those four minute goals. And there's a look at Kate Lynch's record in her ninth season as the head coach of the Owls. Talk about it, getting as many wins as possible in four minute increments. And they've done a really good job so far. Uh, get, got, they've got a couple deflections on the defensive end. You know, they, they, they what they can't possibly prepare for um, when they're on offense, they can't prepare for UConn's intensity and quickness on the defensive end. That's difficult, and you've seen some turnovers. Passing, you know, out on the wing, passing from one player to another. That may work in your normal day-to-day, -day, but against UConn, you saw Ducharme just stole one. UConn is so good about getting in the passing lane and anticipating their passes have to be crisp and perfect. There he is, Gino Oriema in his 39th season. The Hall of Fame head coach. Creeping towards 1,200 career wins. That's crazy. Isn't it? And, and not even 200 losses. That's crazier. Yeah, to me, it's the number of wins, which is a, a lot, but the, the number of losses, it's, it's remarkable what he's been able to accomplish here. Listen, it's a program that measures success in national championships. It's been th since 2016. There is a bit of a comeback feel to this season. As they try to get back to the glory that they became accustomed to. And it's hard to think that team that went to the Final Four 14 years in a row, ousted in the Sweet 16, that that would be felt like a disappointment. But at UConn... It was devastating. Aubrey Griffin in the game for UConn, and she's got a rebound off the miss. She had a really nice season last year, coming back from her own injury two years ago. Beckers, no look underneath. That was sweet to Aaliyah Edwards. Well, Paige is a great scorer, as we know, but she's so unselfish. She loves to set up her teammates. From deep, Delaney Haynes out of Portland, Maine. Short on it. Aubrey Griffin blows past everybody, and Paige hits her. I mean, it was a perfect pass. She saw Aubrey take off. Few players run the floor as quickly and as beautifully as Aubrey. Coming up on four minutes left in the first, the score now 20 to three, UConn over Southern. Haynes hands it for Williamson. An up fake by Haynes got Ducharme out of position and she knocks down the 17 footer. 20 to five now, UConn leads just under four minutes to go in the first. Aubrey Griffin, more than 11 points a game last year. And she's gonna add to her point total here with a drop step, the basket and the foul. They just have so many scoring options. So many weapons. That fouls on Williamson. As Paige Beckers and Caroline Ducharme head to the bench, very impressive 
minutes from both Ducharme and, and she, Beckers. Gino's irritated as Paige just ran off her ponytail, literally hit him in the face and <laughs> brushed across his glasses. He took his glasses off and like wiped off the sweat. <laughs> Classic. Well, the return to the floor of Ice Brady, who gets a nice hand, and also the introduction of K.K. Arnold. K.K. Arnold, the Big East preseason player of the year out of Germantown, Wisconsin. The Wisconsin player of the year, Aubrey Griffin, the steal. And then a foul at half court by Mackenzie Helms. And that's what I was talking about before. UConn is just so difficult to play against when they're on defense. They deny in the passing lane. Good pressure on the ball there by Arnold. And Aubrey Griffin so quick, so strong. That right arm was in that passing lane. And then Southern had no option but to foul to keep her from that breakaway layup. Easy FUD to the bench. And here comes freshman from Nobleville, Indiana, Ashlyn Shade. The number 15 recruit, according to ESPN, almost 1,700 points in high school at Noblesville High School before transferring to La Lumiere. Where she averaged 24 her senior year as a 2023 McDonald's All-American. This game will be a great opportunity to see a lot of the young players, particularly those in the backcourt. Aliyah Edwards showing the youngsters how the senior from Kingston, Ontario gets it done. 25 to 5 UConn now. Edwards with six on three of four shooting. A deep three for Williamson. No good. Saved by Raina Steinauer, sophomore from Oakville, Ontario, but into the hands of UConn. And here's Shane. Griffin. Brady. Edwards back inside to a double team. Brady! Counted on the foul, and that's got to feel good for Ice Brady coming back from her own season-ending injury. She went through it with Paige Beckers. They got really close through the rehab process, and what a great feeling that's got to be How for her. How about the lefty going strong to her right and finishing, showing her strength. I mean, it's it was she is the, the X factor for the team this year. And that's a great confidence boost for her. As you see, another freshman into the game now. Caden Samuels, freshman from Forestville, Maryland. The number 41 ranked recruit, according to ESPN. He had a terrific junior year in particular. 17 and a half points a game at Bishop McNamara High School. A little three-quarter court defensive pressure here by UConn. Score now 28 to 5. UConn with just under two and a half to go in the first. After the three point play by Brady, who's got a rebound off the miss from Haynes. That pressure is going to force Southern to play a little faster than they want. KK Arnold into the paint. Counted in the foul. Her teammates love her. She's made a big time impression in the preseason with her positive energy and her quickness. Both on display there. How about that great strong take and the reaction? Kid plays with so much motion, energy, and passion. It's a great addition to this team. Well, this is fun right now to watch these five on the floor. Other than Griffin, this is very much the future of the program. Aubrey Griffin grabbing the rebound. And that is a foul. Steinhauer of Southern called for the foul. And that was just pure athleticism there by Griffin to get that rebound, but you gotta box out. Steinhauer's first personal. Southern now with five team fouls. Two shots for Griffin. Who was very good last year and got to the line a lot, just under 79%. In 103, excuse me, 113 trips to the line. Well, you know, players like Aubrey Griffin, who slash and are aggressive, they will get themselves to the line more by virtue of just her athleticism diving into that lane. Well, that's the way she can help this team this year. Haynes, the runner, off the window. Count it. It's a foul against Griffin and one. 
Delaney Haynes taking out Aubrey Griffin, drawing the contact and getting the bank open on a Saturday afternoon. What a tough take there by Haynes. You love to see the focus. Her eyes, she kept him on the prize. Two players converging on her. She falls and still knocks it in. It's a three-point play for Haynes, but a 17-point game last year against St. Anselm. That makes it 32 to 8 UConn with 150 to go in the first. Caden Samuels gives it to Aubrey Griffin. And now Samuels walks. She travels. Substitution. Well, subs coming in here for UConn. And Esh Betancourt into the game. And Last year, she didn't expect to play as much as she ended up playing, but she was invaluable. I don't, I don't think she expected to start at Maryland. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I give that kid so much credit for coming in and, and stepping up and playing in big, big games when she was supposed to play, you know, a couple minutes a game in big wins. Real late addition last year from Portugal. And she averaged nine minutes a game last year in 25 games. And just one of the great kids that have ever played at this program. Steinhauer misses. Ice Brady with another rebound. Strong rebound there by Brady. We've seen Brady in the post with an and one. She's also got a mid-range game and even a little distance from the corner. Catching fire for Shade is off the money. The rebound of Bonilla pushing the floor to Haynes. 50 seconds to go in the first. 32 to 8 UConn. Martin, Shade trying to work around the screen defensively. It opens up a look for Steinhauer, short on the scoop. And the rebound out of bounds, staying with Southern. Thirty-seven point seven on the clock here in the first. UConn 32, Southern Connecticut 8. What a young lineup out there for UConn. The three incoming freshmen, Ice Brady, a redshirt freshman, and Inesh Betancourt, a young sophomore. Bonilla gets it inside, and then that is defended by Samuels. Under 30 seconds to go in the first. About a half a second difference between the game clock and shot clock. Let's see what UConn runs here. KK Arnold, running point. Number six recruit, according to ESPN in her 2023 class. It's Samuels for three. No, but an offensive rebound by Shade. She gets stuffed by Milner. Two seconds, then one. Arnold didn't get it off. And that's the quarter. 10 minutes in, UConn leads 32 to eight. And a lot to like for UConn fans just to see Paige Beckers and Ice Brady on the floor. Nika Mule leading the way. The Huskies lead it 32 to eight through one quarter.
Back in Campbell, our score 32 to 8, UConn through one quarter. Of course, the Huskies would love to hang another national championship banner here, but first, gotta get through the Big East. Last year, UConn finished first again in the Big East with an 18 and 2 record. Villanova and Creighton with big years as well. This year's preseason's got UConn number one with Creighton getting one first place vote. Followed by Marquette, Villanova, Seton Hall, St. John's. As we begin the second quarter, I want to tell you that we're having some technical difficulties with the score bug. Hey, it's a dress rehearsal all the way around, right, Meg? <laughs> no doubt about so it. We're going to go old school, give you the score we're after every basket. We're all a little basket. rusty, right? Delaney Haynes for Southern. Hope Fox goes up, and she was defended well by Caden Samuels who causes the travel. Nice help there by Inesh Betancourt too. Off the ball coming in to help. In the first quarter, Aubrey Griffin led the way with seven points for UConn. Two for two from the floor, three for three from the line. Betancourt that left caught shoulder. the offensive yeah, Lowered that left shoulder, initiated the contact, and it was sold well. Yeah, you see that left arm. Never hurts when the defender falls to earn that call. Yeah. Hope Fox defending her and drawing the foul. 32 to 8, UConn coming up on nine minutes to go in the second. Delaney Haynes for Southern hits a wing three. Thirty-two to eleven. Yeah. Terrific screen set. She was wide open. Nice finish. That's a three from Ice Brady. It goes strong. Haynes with the rebound. Bonilla fires the pass inside to Milner. Brady defending Milner. Bonilla transferring to Southern to earn her masters in social work. It'll stay with Southern. That's a big recruiting tool for Kate Lynch. Southern has a lot of great master's programs and an opportunity for a player like Bonilla, who played D1 at Marist, to come work on a master's. Yeah, and they're not just going to raid that transfer portal and take anybody. I mean, it's got to work. It's got to be the right fit. It's got to fit into the incredible culture that they have, but they've got a ton of nursing students. They have a great nursing program at Southern, as well as the social work. Yeah. Nika Mule freshly into the game with a kickball on the inbounds play by Martin. Eight thirty-five to go in the second. Nice play to a cutting Renza Milner, too strong off the window. The rebound is Shade. Mule trying to feed it inside. It deflects to Betancourt, and then the Huskies turn it over. Good idea by Betancourt, just couldn't get that ball to Ice Brady. And how about Nika Mule creating that turnover? She got into the passing lane, knocked the ball, but then it went off a Southern kid. And she knew it right away. She made the call herself after deflecting the pass intended for Haynes off of Haynes. And that's the kind of defensive effort Gina Oriama has come to love from Nika Mule throughout her career. That's Samuels a freshman a play right there. It. Yeah, by Samuels. Didn't, you know, the ball was coming to her. She looked away, ready to make the next play. Well, you got to catch the ball first. And then she lost it and then committed the foul, compounding the, in the initial error. So Samuels commits her first personal. The second team foul for UConn. Here in the second. So Paige Becker's into the game. How about Nika that? Mule she got it steal. right back. Samuels to Becker's for three. Yes. <laughs> Paige Becker's making it 35 11 UConn, just under eight minutes to go in the second. Becker's has five. Haynes takes a three and misses. Edwards freshly back into the game. Boxed out by Hope Fox at 5'8 for that rebound. 
Good box out there by Samuels and hustle to track down that rebound. Beckers inside, Edwards for two more. Perfect pass by Beckers. Edwards working hard to post up the defender on the high side. That ball came around beautifully, so all ice, all Edwards had to do was just catch, turn, and score. Now 37 to 11, UConn, 7-16 to go in the second. Nika Mule commits her first personal. AZ Fudd quickly into the game. So Mule to the bench. Fudd in along with Paige Beckers, Ashlyn Shade, Caden Samuels, and Aaliyah Edwards, the five on the floor for UConn. Seven minutes to go here in the first half. UConn 37, Southern 11. Delaney Haynes, the runner, no good. Edwards, the rebound. Paige Beckers with the ball. She's got five assists here in the first half. No look to Edwards. How about a sixth dive for Beckers and two more for Aaliyah Edwards in the double figures now. 39-11 UConn, Edwards has 12. You just gotta be ready to catch the ball. She will find you if you are open. Six and a half to go in the second. 39-11 UConn. Haynes catching fire for three. Delaney Haynes in a double figures today. 39-14, UConn leads 6.20 to go in the second. Haynes has been terrific on the offensive end, getting herself open and knocking down shots. That's a travel on Shade, trying the up and under against a much bigger double team. So Delaney Haynes with 11 points for Southern, 11 of their 14. Hope Fox and Ashley Evans to the bench. Kanan Samuels heads to the UConn bench. And Caroline Ducharme's back on the floor for Connecticut. Mackenzie Helms, Delaney Haynes. Helms, star at East Haven High School. There's going to be a foul with 5.52 to go in the second. And Gino Oriama talked about it after that secret scrimmage they had against Syracuse. He goes, I keep telling these, these guys, you've got to stop fouling. And they committed a lot of fouls. And the, the kids swear they're not fouling, and the officials will continue to call them. That's Ashlyn Shade whistled for her first personal and the team's fourth. And yeah, they're going to call them. You know, it's something that Nika Mule's really worked on throughout her career. Shot clock down to five. Martin dishes one more pass for Williamson, and that got blocked by Beckers. Two on the shot clock. I tell you, Beckers finds a way to get involved in every aspect of the game, not just the offensive end. 534 on the clock here in the second quarter. Two on the shot clock for Southern. Martin the inbound. And that one's out of the reach of Williamson and recovered by Helms, but a shot clock violation. Edwards thought that they were going to call a foul on Southern, but before they could, the shot clock expired. Randy Brochu of Meg Como on the wax today. And a reminder that breaking news, if it's happening when you wake up, Eyewitness News this morning is on it when it's happening and how it may impact your day. Wake up! Eyewitness news this morning from 4.30 to 7. Ducharme a second chance three. That one missed as well. Knox the rebound. Vienna Knox, star at Mercy High School in Middletown, and a transfer from the University of Bridgeport on that rebound. 39-14, UConn, five minutes to go in the second quarter. Haynes loses it to Beckers. She's on the fast break to Aubrey Griffin. Perfect, she blows by everybody. Perfectly for two. timed pass from Beckers. Drew the defense and then the pretty bounce pass. Aubrey Griffin now three for three from the floor. 
You know, last year against Princeton, went 11 for 11 to tie none other than Rebecca Lobo for consecutive field goals in a game. She's three for three here, and we'll take a break. UConn 41, Southern 14, 448 to go in the second. A lot of Paige Beckers early on in this exhibition to begin the new season. Morning ready with first alert weather and traffic together every 10 minutes. Watch Eyewitness News this morning from 4.30 to 7 a.m. Weather sure was nice here for our drive to Gamble today, Meg. Beautiful Saturday afternoon here in November with the season beginning for real this week. Yeah, it was a perfect day to drive up here and amazingly it wasn't raining. <laughs> I know, it's a Saturday and it's not raining. <laughs> Shocking. But I tell you what, it's a great crowd. Unbelievable energy in here. As of yesterday morning, there were like over 9,500 tickets out for this game. I, there's, there's at least 10,000 people in here. With a lot of eyes on that young lady. Paige Beckers is fouled. With 4.41 to go in the second, the score UConn 41, Southern 14. Second personal, first team foul. Griffin inside for Edwards and she travels shuffling her feet up against Ashley Evans and those are some of the timing plays that happen and those mistakes happen because it's early in the season getting game ready just wanting just being a little too anxious Jill Martin to Raina Steinhauer. Steinhauer's sister played for Southern. Actually, she played against UConn in 2018, the last time these two linked up for an exhibition during the snowstorm at the XL Center. Tell you, it's fun to watch Paige Beckers play defense, the way she communicates and makes sure everyone knows what they're doing and are in the right spots. 
Beckers taking on Helms. She's got it. And she what looks at foul. the official with her hand in the air like, what? That's not a foul? 43 <laughs> 14 UConn, 340 to go in the second. Yeah, she got pumped. Martin, air ball on the three, saved by Steinhauer. Great hustle play by Raina Steinhauer. Ashley Evans, a three for Southern. No good. Beckers and Edwards battle each other for the rebound. <laughs> they have a little laugh about it. Should be credited to Edwards. Does this team have fun? Ducharme, <laughs> a three. Offensive rebound, Edwards. That was outstanding Edwards. position by Aliyah Edwards to get herself inside the Southern defender when that shot went up. Now 14 for Edwards, 45-14, UConn, three minutes to go in the second. Beckers diving for a loose ball with Martin. Some subs here. KK Arnold in for UConn. Jill Martin is whistled for a foul. The team's second, Paige Beckers, got to watch out with that thumb. Yeah, she jammed it a few weeks ago. You can see she's got it taped and covered. I think Arnold was already coming in for her. I don't think she came in because of that play. What a sweet drop step. Aubrey Griffin remains perfect from the floor. 47-14, UConn 238 to go in the second. Raina Steinhauer misses the three. Griffin elevates for the defensive board. What a great box out too by AZ Fudd. Fudd now going to work. And she's out of sync with Aaliyah Edwards. She thought she'd stay. Aaliyah thought she'd cut. And it's a turnover by UConn on the pass from Fudd. Number 13, Julia Have a look at Paige Beckers on the bench, battling through that thumb injury. It's actually a good sign, right, that she goes to the floor, puts oh, her yeah. hand out. And and she's not thinking about it too much. Williamson, too strong. And with two minutes to go in the first half, UConn 47, Southern 14. I think the thumb would have to be severed and off of her yeah. hand for her to not play. Dushar gets fouled. It's going to be whistled on Bonilla. Southern foul. That'll be Bonilla's second personal as Edwards goes to the bench. Terrific minutes there from Aaliyah Edwards. 13 foul on Southern, putting Ducharme on the line. Last year, a 65% free throw shooter. She goes one of two. And with 1.53 to go in the second quarter, UConn now leading 48 to 14. On the wing, Bonilla. Fudd, face guarding. No look back to Bonilla, who gets off a quick three and misses. Griffin <laughs> rips the rebound away and leads it along to Fudd. To the corner, Ducharme. One pass to Arnold, way off. Fudd battling for an offensive rebound. Anybody's ball here. Amari DeBerry on the floor, hits the deck and earns a tie up. Tallest player on the floor getting down. Amari DeBerry, the junior from Williamsville, New York. Contributed a little more than eight minutes per game last year. Off-season back surgery. It's nice to see DeBerry on the floor. Arnold runs it outside. Griffin gets fouled. Trying to hang at the elbow, drawing contact from Keeney Williamson. 107 to go in the second. And that's three fouls on Williamson now. Shooting foul, fourth team foul on Southern. That play there just illustrates Aubrey Griffin's quickness and being able to turn that corner 
Williamson had no chance but to foul her. So incredibly athletic. Just hanging up there. Of course, Dad Adrian, now the head coach of the Milwaukee Bucks, her brothers. Terrific players as well, AJ with the Atlanta Hawks by way of Duke. And Allen, a player at Illinois and Syracuse. Some great genes in that family. Mm -hmm. Her mom was an All-American track star at Seton Hall. One minute to go here in the first half, 49-14 UConn. This pass. Hope Fox, nope. Offensive rebound, Delaney Haynes. Well, she's been great today for Southern Delaney Haynes. Turned over. Ducharme has it. Arnold. Ducharme catching fire off the money. And a defensive rebound for Hope Fox. Southern looking for a good possession here. And an open look from the corner. Bonilla misses. Ice Brady the rebound. AZ Fudd. To an open Ducharme. And she nails the three with 15 seconds remaining in the first half. 52 14 UConn. Ducharme has shot the ball so well in this early season in the scrimmage and at practice on the day to day. So, Speaking of. Yeah, Delaney <laughs> Haynes. And then UConn throws it away with 1.8 on the clock. So Haynes hits the three, and the Huskies lose their concentration. Southern's going to get another shot here before the end of the half. Be nice for Southern for them to take advantage of this error by UConn. 1.8 on the clock. Ducharme defending the ball. Fox into Bonilla, and she's not going to get it off. Brady all over her. And that's the half. At halftime, UConn 52, Southern 17. The return of Paige Beckers and Ice Brady to the floor. UConn shows their depth, which should be a strength for them this year. Of course, at times last year, struggling to get the required scholarship athletes on the floor. What a nice thing it's got to be for this coaching staff to see the depth that we saw. Yeah, I mean, it was just a glimpse into what this team is going to be capable of doing. Halftime, UConn leads 52-17 to 17 over Southern. My name is Nika Mule, I'm a senior.
My name is Nika Mjul, I'm a senior on UConn women's basketball team and we're in Zagreb, Croatia and this is my home. This is my beautiful mom, Roberta. Um, this is my beautiful dad, Darko. And this is my fat cat, Columbo. And the only person that we're missing is my sister, but we'll see her this year, so it'll be fun. I remember the day before I had to leave, um, I was right here and I was crying to my mom and dad and I was like, I don't wanna go, I'm not going, I'm staying here, I'm not catching up flight tomorrow, I'm gonna miss it. Um, so I really didn't wanna go at first um, because I was scared, you know, I never been away from home for 18 years. As soon as I stepped on that plane, as soon as I arrived to campus, you know, my new family just accepted me for who I am. Uh, all the flaws, all the good stuff, just immediately, you know, clicked with the team, became my sisters for life. It was hard at first, but as soon as I stepped on campus, I never regretted it, ever. Obviously, I knew who Gina Ariema is, I knew who Christine Daly was. I knew that they were the best team in the country. I knew about Diana Taurasi, Maya Moore, Subert, all the legends. Definitely knew they were, they were the most successful team in the country. To be Croatian, to me, means just being myself, the way I am, my characteristics are, is very similar to uh, most of the people in my country, you know. We're very passionate about the things that we love and we, we give 100% whenever, whatever we do. We're super hardworking. On the other side, we're super, you know, laid back. We know how to live life, how to enjoy life and just take things slowly. This is my middle school right here behind me. This is where it all started. This is where I grew up. This is where was the first game when the guys didn't let me play because I was not good enough. And since then, I've been breaking ankles here, so. Meet my sister, Hannah. Say hello. Say go Huskies. She said go Huskies. You know, my Zagreb has kind of a soul, which it's hard to, you know, just go around and explore in one day. I feel like, you know, over the years, you just find the little things about the city, about the people especially. I feel like it's not even about the city. I feel like the people here are what make this city so special in my heart. Just the little places, the little memories, the experiences that I've had here with my family, my friends. Um, it always brings me back, even, you know, if I'm not home for nine months every year, every time I come back, it's like I never left.
Although I love my city, I love every part of it, every inch of it, all the good parts, all the bad parts. I feel like the people are, you know, what make this city so special in my heart and what I call home is really my people, not the city. So I would say my family, friends, all the people here. Um, people are super welcoming, super heartwarming. So it's like a, a super big family at the end of the day. Like anybody would say, they've sacrificed so much for me. Gave, me, gave me and my sister opportunities that they themselves didn't have. To be able to be here and you know share this moment with my American family and my you know Croatian family, uh, have them you know meet and you know interact and share experiences, share memories just means a lot because you know it feels like I'm giving just a little bit back to them for all of them for me. They're my biggest support, the people I love the most in my life. So you know it's super special for UConn and for the whole program and for Coach to be able to do this for me and them, um, just for us to share, you know, this experience is huge. Just gonna, you know, remember this forever. Being able to connect my UConn family with my actual family, my friends, everybody here that's been supporting me on FaceTime basically for three years, not being able to watch a game live. Um, I'm just so thankful to the whole UConn program and to Coach for you know making this happen, making this possible because not a lot of player get this op players get this opportunity. I'm super thankful, you know for my family to be able to watch me live for the first time after three years. There's gonna be a lot of people I'm excited, a lot of my friends, family, neighbors, people that I don't know that just, you know, support me, support my team. Um, so it's definitely a full circle moment and I'm super thankful and I don't think I've, I'm even aware of it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be, you know, realizing uh, tomorrow when the game actually happens, but I'm just super thankful and um, this is definitely a huge reward, you know, for all the hard work and everything. And it would not be possible without, you know, UConn program and coach and just super thankful, super thankful for all of it. Local sports lives here on the Wax. What an effort at the net. Kicked in its in. The Quinnipiac Bobcats. That's going to be into the box. The Yukon Huskies. And they're going to go. The Sacred Heart Pioneers. Bongo looking to bang it home. Catch every header, Hail Mary, and heroic play on just one station. What a display. Oh, my goodness. The Wax, Connecticut's home for local college sports.
welcome you back to Campbell Pavilion. The score, UConn 52, Southern 17 at halftime. Paige Beckers, Aaliyah Edwards, and the UConn Huskies with a lot to like in their first half. Just to get on the floor and also to show the chemistry in real game action that they did several times in the first 20 minutes. Yeah, such a, a highly anticipated return of Paige Beckers getting other people involved there. Nika Mule knocking down a three. Terrific take to the basket by Beckers. Talking to the student section. <laughs> uh, a nice return to the floor. Actually, for her first minutes as a Husky, Ice Brady, strong finish in the post. Defensively, UConn swarms the ball as they always do. A pretty solid first 20 minutes. Yeah, UConn led by the front court, really. Aaliyah Edwards, seven of eight from the floor for 14 points. Aubrey Griffin, a perfect four for four from the floor. Four for five on the line, and she added 12 points. Paige Becker's seven points for the Huskies. The third leading score, but seven assists, making everyone around her better. As we take a look at the first half stats, the Huskies connecting on 21 of 34 from the floor and dishing it. We heard that this year was gonna be a deeper team and ball movement, distribution, playing fast, playing to their strength with depth as a strength this year should lead right to more ball movement and more assists played out that way in the first half. It sure did. I, one number that I see there, the three-point field goals, four of 14, that's something that is not unusual for an exhibition game. You're not going to typically be your sharpest, but that's a number they're going to want to see improve. And again, Paige Becker's just getting on the floor in the first half, a win in and of itself, her first game in 580 days. And seven points. Seven assists for Paige Beckers. Again, got a battle in that thumb situation. She went down and went for a loose ball earlier, fell on it, but was fine, got back in there, which was a great sign. Three of four from the floor from Paige Beckers. Southern ball to begin, and then it's not because Aubrey Griffin steals the inbounds pass and takes it to the rack. Let's them get in their seats here at Gamble. Her athleticism is just something to behold. She jumped the lane. Now five for five from the floor for 14 points. They mentioned it in the first half, worth mentioning again. Tied Rebecca Lobo last year by going 11 for 11. Perfect from the floor. Hope Fox knocks down a three for Southern, and it's 54 to 20 UConn, 30 seconds into the third. UConn answers, Hazy Fudd rips the three. That's one way to improve that three-point shooting. One of the best three-point shooters in the game. Maybe something to keep an eye on here in the second. See if you use this second half to try to work that outside game, get those shooters some game rhythm. UConn starting in a 2-3 zone here. They normally play man-to-man -man only. Bonilla misses the three. Mule with the rebound. A little bit of help from Ducharme on the box out. Griffin takes a three. And that's her first miss today. The rebound from Hope Fox. She just takes it away from Aaliyah Edwards. Martin slipping inside. Nika Mule, great take by... Jill Martin, the senior captain from Orange, Connecticut. Aaliyah Edwards sees a lane and gets fouled by Ashley Evans. Looked like a little triangle offense that time by UConn. Quick pass from Edwards, opening up a soft spot for Edwards to attack. And, and Fudd moves so well without the basketball, and she's such a threat to score. And what makes it so difficult to defend UConn is not only do they all move well without the ball, but they're such good passers. Edwards having herself a nice exhibition, up to 15 points. She had 28 
in the NCAA tournament win against Vermont last year. 19 in the Big East Finals, the championship over Villanova. An AP third team All-American last year, Aaliyah Edwards. Making yeah. it 59-22. Yeah, getting MVP of that Big East tournament. Boy, did she have a terrific weekend. Shot clock down to eight. Martin takes a contested long two. Edwards with a rebound. She's flirting with a double-double now. Nine rebounds for Edwards. Fudd put it off the foot of Edwards. Turned over. Southern ball. Williamson taking on Edwards. Nice drop step move. It won't fall for her though. Too bad it didn't fall. That was an outstanding move. Nika Mule, no look to Griffin. Smart play. See, this is this is textbook Southern Connecticut State University. They're smart basketball players. And you watch the way they get back defensively. She got in that and in got her spot and took that charge. Smart defensive play. Juliana Bonilla got there and set her feet. Offensive foul called on Aubrey Griffin. Her second personal foul. Williamson high off the window with the shot clock winding down. Aubrey Griffin the rebound. Over the top to Ducharme, and it traveled. Almost made it work, just dragged that foot. Heck of a catch, though. 11 turnovers now for UConn. Southern's turned it over twice, or 12 times, pardon. UConn with 11 turnovers. You don't mind those aggressive turnovers, though, trying to make plays happen. Evans steps back for a three and misses. Mule with a rebound. Her third board. Ducharme, the up fake. And then can't quite get the roll on the elbow jumper. Offensive rebound. Edwards out to Fudd, who rips the three. AZ Fudd's into double figures. And Edwards now with a double double, grabbing down her 10th rebound. What a smart play by Edwards to kick it out to the wide open Fudd. That three's like a layup for her. Daisy now four for six from the floor, three for four from behind the arc. The miss by Bonilla. Offensive rebound for Southern. From the wing, Williamson, corner three, no good. Ducharme, the defensive rebound, boxing out Bonilla. Fun again from Ewell. Short on the three. And then Edwards crashes. It'll be Southern ball. Shadaria Smith enters, a junior from Orlando, Florida. Where's number three? Griffin to the bench for UConn. KK Arnold back in for the Huskies. UConn with a light press. They back it off. There's a lot to be impressed about by Southern today. They've had a really impressive poise against this UConn team. And two more for Juliana Bonilla, knocking down a contested. Well, they're a very well-coached team, and well-coached teams don't panic. They run their stuff. They execute, they defend, they do all the little things. They're an unselfish group as well. Nice take. Right. Spins out for Edwards. Mule tangled underneath with Fox. Fox. 
That's a foul against Fox for Southern and a timeout on the floor. 439 to go in the third. UConn leading the exhibition to begin their new season against Southern. 62-24, the Huskies from Gamble. Huskies back home at Gamble today for their exhibition, but they did play some hoops this summer on their trip to Europe. And it's not just about getting game action in, of course, but kind of coming together as a team and using the experience to see a little bit of the world, and boy, did they. I'll tell you what, there's no better education than traveling the world, and they're a fun group to travel with. Gino's a he loves bringing his teams overseas, particularly to Italy to his home country. Uh, it, it, it's an unbelievable experience for these kids, but it did so much for their chemistry on and off the floor. And it's, it was an unbelievable experience for all of them. Of course, Nika Mule, one of the many international students for UConn. And off the inbounds play, AZ Fudd takes that pass from Mule. And knocks it down. That was. One of the things about UConn last year, certain times they'd have five players on the floor from five different countries. <laughs> Shadira Smith, transfer from Eastern Florida State. Shot clock's down to five for the Owls. Haynes has to get it off. She did not. Shot clock violation, well defended by the Huskies that time. Sunny in stores, rain at the rent. In Connecticut, a few miles can make all the difference in our weather. Trust First Alert Weather and the state's only live Doppler to keep you ahead of the storm. 64-24. UConn with a 40-point lead. Fudd misses, but Mule's got the rebound. And Fudd's open in the corner from Ducharme. Great pass from Caroline Ducharme and AZ Fudd heating up from behind the arc. She got herself to that corner and open and ready. 
Didn't matter that she had just missed one. If you give her just a little space, she'll make you pay. 67-24 UConn. That three doesn't go down for Steinhauer. And the Huskies look to push. KK Arnold behind the back. Then no look dish on the fast break to Ducharme. Great finish by Ducharme. Terrific pass from Arnold. Heard the oohs and ahs when she went by <laughs> the back. They love her already. Steal by AZ Fudd, two more. And UConn cracks the 70 point barrier. 71 24, Connecticut. UConn outscoring Southern in the third quarter, 19 to seven. Southern getting some work in in their half court offense, getting Williamson a look from the free throw line. A little inside outside game, then back into Williamson. And a timeout is called by Southern. Teachable moments, right? Kate Lynch has to like that possession right there. And I wonder if this is a timeout to say, hey, that's what we got to run this year. Absolutely. That was a terrific possession. And then on the other side, you know, what What else can you say about the, uh, the play of the freshman K.K. Arnold, who has come in and when from the minute she stepped on campus, she has just been this bright light. I mean, she's got a great personality. She fits in well with the team and she plays with such confidence and energy a lot of fun to watch her play espn number six recruit in this year's recruiting class one gold at the 2022 fiba three on three u18 world championships and gold in the 2021 fiba america's u16 championship the germantown high school in wisconsin where she was the 2021 wisconsin player of the year 2,488 points, eight triple doubles in her career at Germantown High School. There's a lot to like about well, this. There lady. is a lot to like about her. And I mean, how about that? Just doing the right thing with the ball there behind the back to get herself where she needs to be, draws the defense. Gino has raved about her early on already this season how she has just come in and established herself as such a terrific player and a great personality. I know AZ Flight is also saying her praises. <laughs> and yet, you know, she said it's been a great adjustment because she's learning, from, she's as great as she is, she knows that I need to learn from these older players and the upperclassmen class, are helping her. So now she said it's a relief for me that I can step back and learn the game of college basketball. She's got a pretty good group to learn from. Got a great group to learn from, but also energized with that personality that everybody seems to love early on in her time here at Stores. Two twenty-nine left in the third. UConn leading 71-26. Brady Brochu with Meg Como. Glad to be with you for the exhibition as the Huskies gear up for the real thing. Wednesday against Dayton at the XL Center. Seven o'clock Wednesday night. It begins for real. Meg, you're on the call on SNY. If folks won't get out there, looking forward to watching you again this year and this season that has so much interest around it. A season like there's not been a it's a unique kind of interest for this year unique in many, many yeah, ways yeah i can't remember a season that has been more highly anticipated than this and it's certainly because of Paige beckers and but but the entire team coming back and being healthy and you know last year and the year before was such a disappointment with all that they've struggled with with the various injuries and there's an energy and an excitement uh, that i haven't seen in a really long time It'll be fun to see Arnold and the other freshmen continue to, you know, emerge into their roles and learn from these upperclassmen and see how they evolve into this program. It's not an easy program to come into, but they've done it remarkably well thus far. And some youth on this roster 
obviously there's great anticipation for this year. There's some of that youth on display. Arnold to Brady for two more. Yeah, one in doubt, just dump it up there to Ice Brady, to, especially to the left hand, easy finish. Nika Mule went down, right back up. And then a steal by Ducharme. She takes it away from Steinhauer. The Huskies push, and Arnold is fouled. Ducharme starting that fast break with a steal. Milner commits the foul for Southern, her first personal. And the third team foul. Mule goes to the bench. Caden Samuel is back in for UConn. KK Arnold, the front end of the free throws. Take a look at what's coming back for UConn. Of course, AZ Fudd at the top. Edwards and Griffin rounding out the, those top three in scoring right now. I mean, in, in any given night, you never know who it's going to be. They've got so many offensive weapons. Well, you know, Meg, with what UConn's faced the last couple of years with the injuries, you look for positives where you can, those quote unquote blessings in disguise. It forced Aaliyah Edwards into a big role. It forced Aubrey Griffin to elevate her game in a year coming back from injury. And now these two have that experience of last year, that those tough times. Yeah, it, it forces you to step up and do things that maybe you wouldn't have been expected to do just, just yet. Aaron passed, but Shade comes up with it. Coming down to one minute left in the third. Samuels from the top of the key. Hits the three. That left her hand differently than a shot she had taken in the first quarter. That looked pretty from the minute it left her hand. 78-26 UConn, 45 seconds left in the third, and a travel against Southern. There's Arnold again, cruising through the lane. It's off the money, and a tie-up. The arrow favors UConn with 36.1 on the clock here in the third. I like the nice aggressive take by Arnold. They called their offensive set. She noticed an opening and she went aggressively to the basket, just couldn't get it to finish. But nice job by Shade to force the jump ball and the possession to UConn. Gonna be a reach in foul here against Southern. Looks like Mackenzie Helms. And that puts Samuels back on the line. 35 seconds left in the third. 15 foul on the Owls. And Samuels. Hits the front end of the free throws. She can get UConn 80 here with the second. 80 to 26 Huskies. It may not seem like a big deal, but it's a really big deal to knock down these free throws right now, especially for the freshmen. You're playing in front of a big crowd, and again, that's what this exhibition is for, to get used to playing and energize buildings, which will always be the case whenever UConn's on the floor. That's a nice play there by UConn to get that ball to Brady from Shade. Shot clock off, eight seconds in the third. Ducharme the scoop, and she's fouled. I thought Ducharme got away with a little walk there before she got fouled. Watch her drive, and then she picks it up. One, two, three. <laughs> nice eyes, Meg. 
Milner instead has called for the foul. And Ducharme takes advantage of the free throws, both of them. Five seconds to go in the third. One shot here for Haynes. She got it off. It would have counted, but it's off the back rim. And three quarters are in the books here in this exhibition. UConn 82, Southern 26. Big third quarter for the Huskies. They outscored the Owls 29 to nine. The third quarter kind of matching almost the production of the first when they outscored them 32 to eight. Oh. Well, as the UConn women's basketball team is in search of their 12th banner here at Campbell, the men's team will unfurl their fifth here on Monday night when they begin the quest to defend their national championship against Northern Arizona. Tip-off at 6.30, but the banner ceremony here at Campbell begins at 6 for the defending champs. What a run and what a season last year was, Meg. It was so much fun for all of the state. Just a dominant there was run a, through was, the NCAA tournament. That NCAA tournament was as dominant a performance I've ever seen. So they'll celebrate one more time, and then the quest for six begins for Coach Hurley and the UConn men's team against Northern Arizona Monday night. Martin high off the glass on her drive to begin the fourth. And that's out of bounds. The Wax, Connecticut's home for local college sports. It's the state's newest TV station. Go to WFSP.com to learn how you can watch The Wax, although I feel like if you're watching this game, you might have figured it <laughs> out. found it. We are happy to be on The Wax today. A lot of UConn athletics to be shown on The Wax. Part sister station of WFSP, the new partners of UConn athletics. It's great. It's a great home for many different college athletics teams throughout the state. Yeah, more the more the better, right? right? Let's televise as many of these kids doing their thing as we can. 
Raina Steinhauer enters the game. Leah Edwards on the bench next to Paige Beckers and AZ Fudd, all on the Naismith watch list this season. Look up and down UConn's bench. The talent is unbelievable. Naismith watch lists all around. Nice Brady attacks the rim and is fouled. Really nice screen and roll. And Brady missed the shot only because she got fouled. Foul charge number 13, Gianna Bonilla. That foul up Bonilla. Third personal, second team foul. Bonilla committing her Brady. third personal and the Two second points. on the team here in the fourth. Brady to the line. Well, this is a six foot three, now red shirt freshman from San Diego, the number five ranked recruit. 2022 McDonald's, Jordan Brand, and Slam All American. But a player who is going to compliment Aaliyah Edwards down low, but also has great mid-range game. Shows off a nice free throw stroke there. And can even knock it down from deep. Yeah, she can jack up the three. The lefty can score in so many different ways. The steal by Shade. And she's going to the line. Nice play there by Shade. I mean, Shade, you see there, defensively, I think, is where she's going to make her mark early. There's so many offensive weapons for this team. She just needs to come in as a freshman and just make the simple plays. Just play good, solid defense. That last foul whistle against Martin. Shade knocks them both down. Well, she's got a couple of steals today in 11 minutes. Ducharme has three steals to lead the way defensively for the Huskies. Just one shot block today by UConn. Arnold looking to save it right in front of us. And our friend Bob Joyce on the radio. That just shows you the quickness of Arnold's hands. And the near steal. It's an air ball from the baseline on the pull up by Bonilla. UConn looking to push here. Shade looking for the three. It goes back rim. Offense or defensive rebound by Evans along and out of the reach of Bonilla. That ball is going to be UConn's ball because of the hustle by Ashlyn Shade that rushed that long outlet pass that deflected off of Bonilla's hand out of bounds. Those are the little things that make up, that make a big difference. Now UConn turns it over. Hope Fox with a steal. Shades all over her. Shot clock down to nine for Southern. Fox inside, Evans rejected. Two on the shot clock. Martin got it off in time. It rattles in and out. Steinhauer the offensive rebound. And now a defensive board from Arnold. After the free throw line, jumper miss by Steinhauer. 86-26, UConn with a 50 point lead here in the fourth. From the corner, Samuels off the money on the three. She follows her shot and misses and then keeps going. Well, kept going a nine. little too much. Yeah, <laughs> then commits the foul. Ain't that a freshman? Two misses and a foul. Hey, you know, it's you a love the experience. hustle. Yeah, you love the hustle, the frustration after missing those shots. She'll make those shots as she gets a little bit older, even just older within this season. Just needs a little bit more experience. You gotta love the hustle to follow the shot. I think you were saying before, you can live with aggressive mistakes, especially Absolutely. today. A catch and shoot three. Good box by Shade. And it doesn't fall from Bonilla and Shade's work underneath. Allows Brady to get the rebound and take the three. Too strong, Fox the rebound this time. Martin jacks up a three and nails it. Great three by the captain from Orange, Connecticut. 
Now five points from Martin. Her first three in five attempts today. Delaney Haynes leading the Owls with 14 points on five of 10 from the floor, including three for six from downtown. Under six and a half to go. Shade of three. It's good. Five points for Shade, her first three-pointer. I think she was incredibly happy. You saw the smile on her face. She was just so happy that ball went in. You get the feeling that these last six minutes are going to be a three for all. Three is raining. That one doesn't go for Southern. Samuels a three. Nope. Front iron. Fox the rebound. For UConn, they will be better served to try to execute some offense. That was Samuels who forced the steal, and she gives it to Arnold on the fast break. 91-29 UConn. Gino had said that coming into the game, it's going to be a really good opportunity to see the young players. And we have seen a lot of them here this afternoon. Six points now for Arnold. Bonilla, another three. Once again, a miss. And I tell you, the, this freshman class for UConn is not disappointed. Shade right on cue. Turns it over to Bonilla. Look at Arnold get back. Steinhauer misses the three. He attempted the one-handed rebound by Brady. Ended up with Shade, and she misconnects with Samuels down low. We're inside of five minutes to go in this exhibition, this final dress rehearsal for the big show on Wednesday night. UConn leads Southern 91 to 29 from Gamble.
Well, the final four minutes and 49 seconds of this exhibition as both the Yukon Huskies and the Southern Connecticut Owls get ready to begin for real. Beginning for Southern with Georgian Court on November 11th. They've got Mercy, Assumption, Adelphi, and District of Columbia first on their schedule to begin the season. From you, the wing, Ashley Evans misses. I just appreciate that Kate Lynch wants to bring her team here. You realize it's, it can be difficult for UConn and teams of that caliber to get teams to come in and play them in exhibition games. Oh, yeah, Shade Lynch knocks Shade. down her second three. Yeah, she's got them both here in the fourth. But it's not easy. Teams don't want to come here because they know it's going to be difficult to win the game. That's a three for Southern. Maya Henry, the 5'8 sophomore from Fairfield, a and star at Fairfield Ward High. And look at the bench. That's the best. You talk about a culture. Well, but that's what coming and playing this game does. Young lady from Fairfield, Connecticut, knocks down a She'll three from Jamba remember Pavilion. That, yeah. Absolutely. There she is again, and that's a turnover. She'll want to forget about that. Remember that's the three, right. forget about the turnover. Betancourt. Razzle dazzle behind the back and it ends up down the runway. Three forty to go here in the fourth. Caden Samuels and the Yukon Huskies Southern with big goals in Division Two this year. Absolutely, and, and for the moment they're embracing this opportunity. Many of them have grown up in Connecticut. But they've all heard of the UConn, and, and they're loving being here. But they're not afraid. That's a three. So Nia has missed a, a ton in a row, but she is who her head coach, Kate Lynch, says probably the quickest three-point shot she's ever coached. Well, we saw it there. Yeah, that was catching fire. Three minutes to go in this one. Amari DeBerry back on the floor. And drop step doesn't fall for her. Under three to go. That's the only thing left to wonder. Will UConn hit triple digits? 94-35. And just you could see Kate Lynch on the southern sideline. She's still coaching, still wanting her kids to execute. Martin sinks a three. Contested over the screen. Jill Martin. Eight points. 94-38 UConn. Samuels, short on the three, but an offensive rebound for KK Arnold. Shade in the corner with two minutes. Pulls up over Vienna Knox, no good. The rebound for Martin. Under two to go. 94-38, UConn. Martin, after Milner set the screen. And that's a travel on Vienna Knox. Subs in coming for Southern. Shauna Russell was coming in. But a substitution timeout as we take a look at what's ahead for UConn. Day in to begin the season, Meg on the call, November 8th at the XL Center, then at NC State on ABC. A top 15 matchup versus Maryland, then out to Minnesota, that one on FS1, and how about UCLA in the Cayman Tournament? Yeah, every, a lot of people are looking at that Minnesota game as Paige Becker's homecoming contest. Be a lot of UConn fans out there at Minnesota. 125 and counting. Samuels, no good. The rebound for Knox. That's a baseline drive for Knox. Playing no tough ball. minutes. 
part of a Class Double L championship team for Mercy High School in Middletown. She actually trained at the U.S. Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs while in high school. It's part of the tryouts for the FIBA U-17 World Cup. Well, she didn't make the team. Invaluable experience for her college career. It's, a, it's, you know, it's such a great opportunity for these kids to com compete with USA Basketball. Even just being a part of it, even if you don't make the team, it changes you. Betancourt for three. Samuels crashes for the offensive rebound. From the corner, Caden Samuels nails it. Samuels with eight today. 97-38, UConn, 30 seconds to go. This might be Southern's last chance to get some points. Game clock down to 20. And Martin is saving for the end of the shot clock. You know, using this opportunity to run a play like it's the end of a tight game. A three by Helms, no good. The rebound to Shade. And they'll dribble out. 97-38, UConn beats Southern in this exhibition. And from this point forward, it counts for Gino Oriema and the UConn Huskies coming into this season, ranked the number two team in the AP and the WBCA preseason poll. And the journey begins for the UConn Huskies and also for the visiting Southern Connecticut Owls. You, uh, it, certainly as a player, but even as coaches, you just want to get this first one under your belt. Even though it's an exhibition, the kids love to play it. It's it's the first step in getting this season started. You don't want to be looking at each other every day in practice. And this was a great first step, I thought, for UConn. Three players, check that now, four in double figures for UConn, led by AZ Fudd with 18. Griffin had 14. Edwards with 16 and Ducharme with 10. Paige Beckers returns to the floor for the first time since the national championship game against South Carolina. She looked like her old self. Ice Brady back from a season long injury. Looking strong in the low post for UConn. These Huskies are healthier and they are poised for a big season as they look to return to glory. The final score from Gamble Pavilion, the UConn Huskies 97, the Southern Connecticut Owls 38. Our thanks to the entire production team, Dave Kaplan, our stage manager, Emily Valerio, our producer, Noam Watt. And for my partner, courtside, Meg Como, wish you a great season on the air. Meg, we'll be watching. Thank you so much. It was great to, to be with you. Can't wait to do it again soon. So for Meg Como, Randy Brochu, thank you for joining us in this exhibition. It's UConn over Southern 97-38. It begins for real right now. So long from Campbell.